Yo, what's going on YouTube? Technically T bringing you another case for the iPhone 10s Max today and we have the Kadabe sheath. Well, actually it's called the sheath. So a lot of you guys have been telling me to review this case and I've been seeing it come up many times over in the community I'm in on Mac Rumors where we talk about accessories all the time. Very, very popular case. So I said, let me go ahead and order one, get it up in here and let's go ahead and review it, man. So here it is, the Kadabe sheath. Very, very thin case from them. Now, we don't need to really say much about the packaging. The only thing that's mostly important is it has raised edges and it is drop tested at 6.6 .6 feet. But let's go ahead and get the case out the packaging. We can get rid of this. So here is the actual case. Now, I have to say right offhand that I really love and you can hear it, man. I really love this material that this case is made out of. So let's go ahead and go around it. Let's see what it's working with. So on the right side, you do get that raised power button. Flipping it over on the left side, you get that volume up, volume down, and you get that cutout for your mute toggle. Flipping it over on the back, you do get the cutout for your camera. And even down here, you do get a little bit of Kadabe branding. And flipping it on the bottom, you do get all your port cutouts. Let's go ahead and pop the iPhone 10s Max in here and let's take a look at how the sheath fits on the iPhone 10s Max. Now I'm gonna tell you right off hand that this case does feel really good. This is a really, really nice feeling case, but let's go ahead and get into the aspects of the case. So that power button, nice and tactile, no issues whatsoever. Volume up, volume down, Gives you that nice audible click, definitely no issues. And getting to that mute toggle is not too deep. It actually is very shallow, easy, easy to get to. Flipping over on the bottom, you see all of your ports and cutouts are spot on. No issues there whatsoever. And of course, moving around to the back, you see it is raised and it does have a little raised lip around that camera. So when you do lay your phone on the table, you don't really gotta worry about your camera lens getting damaged for a nice little touch. Now taking a look at the lay on the table protection. Now you already know I do have a tempered glass screen protector up here. So you see it adds a tiny, tiny lip. Now we don't have a lot of lay on the table protection. Now one thing that I can say to Kadabe, Everybody loves this case. Might, might help to add just a little bit of lay on the table protection. I know you're trying to keep your, your cases thin, I know that. But just give us a little bit lay on the table protection because that might make us feel that much better if we are to drop this case. But you do get a little lip, it is buried than nothing. You see the little material that's raised above the edges. So decent little lay on the table protection, but I would probably like to have a little bit more. Now, how does this case fit on the phone? Now here is where I'm actually pretty satisfied, especially how thin the case is and especially the material that it's made out of. It does feel like before you put it on the phone, it is kind of a squishy type, you know, TPU material, but it has just enough stiffness to actually provide a pretty decent fit. I mean, it's decently snug. Now it does pull a little bit on the edges, but you really gotta do some pulling to get it off the edges. But just casually using it, you really aren't gonna be popping it off. It's not gonna be coming off that easy. Down here at the bottom, once again, you do get a little pull here, but everything snaps back in place. And it's the type of material that really isn't going to warp over time. So I really think the fit of it is very good, man. Nice and snug. And how does it feel in your hand? It feels very, very thin. Now it is hard to find a thin case that is made out of the right material and keeps a good grip. And if you can see this material on it, it's not smooth. It actually has like a, and you can hear it there, like a rough type material. And even with me scratching it right there, it doesn't even leave scratches. So that's very good, man. So the case is almost like a scratch proof material. Very, very nice material case. And that material, you know, it's, it goes around the outside of too. And that really, really helps with the grip of this phone. And I'm gonna tell you right now, go on the record, because you know, I always tell you guys some of my favorite cases, but this actually might be a potential new favorite. You guys know I love my Pataka Mad Case Pro, but this thing right here feels very good. And I might be keeping this, despite the lack of a lot of lay on the table protection, might be keeping this on my iPhone XS Max just for a little bit and see if it can take top dog of my case. Now, one thing I want to make a quick note of, because I know there was one other review on YouTube of this case, and it was reported that the case actually has a rocking issue when it is actually on the table. But I'm here to report that there is no issue with the case 
rocking back and forth. I mean, everything seems perfectly fine. It may have a, a real faint rock, but it's not like a deep rock. It's nothing that's gonna annoy you. So I just wanna make a quick case, a quick point about that. So you don't really gotta worry about no issues when the case is actually on a table and moving around up and down unevenly. Bringing the wireless charger over here and dropping it down on wireless charger. And of course, it works with wireless charging. So once again, man, Kadabe Sheath, Go check it out. Definitely the link will be down in the description below. Now they do have a few other cases that I think I'm about to get in house so I can check them out as well. So be paying attention for a whole case lineup from them. But look, for my case lovers out there, if you follow me, man, this is a very, very nice case. Feels very good. And it just might be my new go-to case for my iPhone XS Max, man. But taking the T, I'm about to get up out of here. Definitely hit that like button, comment down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you rock with your boy and I'ma catch you on the next one, later.